I'm going to walk you through using Pro 100 Shape Editor to create custom parts. Two examples of custom parts uh, which we're actually going to go through and create are wall sections and countertops. Here's a wall section I have in my library. I'll just drag it out into the floor plan here. Now this is just a 45 degree corner very easy to create. I'm going to delete that. There's also a 48 inch, inch radius corner. Also very easy, easy to create. And I'll delete that. To create our own wall section, we'll start with a new element. So I'll click here and then click on the floor. And I'm going to right click the element, go to shape, and I'm going to delete one of the sides, so I'll, I'll select this one, then I'll hit delete on my keyboard, and I'll close. Now I'll right click the part and go to dimensions, change the height to 10 inches so it's easier to grab, you'll see why in a moment. I will unlock the height so I can resize it by dragging with my mouse and I'll apply. Now I'll move it to the all the way to the left, all the way to the back and make sure it's touching the ground by clicking move to bottom. I can simply grab uh, click on a grab point and stretch to change the height. And that's how you would create a wall section. If I want to change the texture, I'll just grab a uh, texture. I'm going to go to my coverings to look at what I have. Go down to wall, uh, wallpapers and let's just drag this onto here and onto the adjacent walls and there we go now I'll undo that and delete this if I want to add it to my library I'll just I would just right click it add to catalog call it sample and we'll add it so now if I go to objects in my walls folder and scroll down there's the one I just created which I'm going to delete if you want a straight wall section that's very simple I'll start with a new element click on the floor right click it change to go to dimensions and I'll change the height to say 10 inches so it's grabbable unlock it and I'll change the width to 10 inches as well, well 6 inches and I'll leave the depth as is actually I'm going to lock the width click a grab point, stretch it to the ceiling, stretch it all the way to the back. There's my wall section. And I can just drop texture on it. There's also solid colors. Let's just find a, uh, here's a dark white. very simple and I'm gonna undo and delete the wall section now let's do a countertop slab I'm gonna go to new element click on the back wall right click and go to shape 
Actually, let me close out. I'm going to change the dimensions first. So I'll right click dimensions, 60 inches wide, uh, depth is, let's say, 1 inch. Apply. And, uh, okay. Now I'll right click the part and go to shape. I'll click the bottom section and hit the insert key on my keyboard twice to add. to add uh, points where I can shape the part and I'm going to delete one section by selecting it like I did there and hitting by hitting the delete key on my keyboard now this 30 inch section I'm going to select it and go up here change it to 4 change the number from 30 to 4 and change the arrow to go to the left because I'm resizing to the left and then hit enter so I created a 4 inch, changed the 30 inch section to 4. I'll do the same thing for this 15 inch section. Change the arrow to point to the other side. Change 15 to 4 and hit my enter key. Now for the 52 inch section I'm going to select it. And I will right click it and select arc and I'll manually drag to change the radius. I could also key in a specific number to control the radius. And I'll close out. Now I'll texture it. Uh, let's go to a drop down here. Go to countertops, granite and marble, we include a bunch of different textures with the program, but you can also import your own as JPEGs, whether it's a countertop texture or a, a new wood or whatever. Whatever you may be using the texture for, you can import your own textures as JPEG files. So I'll just drag and drop this one onto my new part here. I'm going to click on the crosshairs here to focus the program on this part and zoom in with my mouse wheel change our angle so we can see it from the bottom here and it's just that easy to create odd shaped parts whether they're uh, countertop or cabinet parts wall sections other types of furniture it doesn't matter the shape editor is very flexible for creating custom parts in Pro 100. If you have any further questions, you can call us at 574-299-5330 or send an email to salesperson at pro100usa.com. Thanks for your time.